game of entrapment, we have somebody who's coming after somebody who gets snared and thinks they're doing the snaring. She knows how to do it. She's planned all this. You know, this is nothing that just kind of springs up overnight. As Shakespeare said, things are not always what they seem. Sean Connery, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Bing Raines star in Entrapment, the new action thriller from 20th Century Fox and New Regency. It starts really with um, uh, a very intriguing heist in New York. This was 70 stories up with smart glass windows. This is classic Mac. He's a wealthy guy. He doesn't have to steal anymore. You think this guy steals because he has to? She's an insurance investigator. When you first see her, she's been on to this guy, Mac, who's played by Sean for a long time. We sent a couple of guys after him. They were both men. Why are you following me? I've got a proposition for you. You are keeping it strictly business, right, Mac? Strictly. My character has a partnership with Sean Connery's character, and it's a bit of a chess game. First we try. Then we trust. You also see the relationship between these two uh, seeming adversaries become more and more complex, more and more rich. Has there ever been anyone you couldn't seduce? No. Did he take the bait? She wants to go in and trick him and catch him. You're the most beautiful crook I've ever seen. He's kind of teaching her and gradually becoming more and more sort of emotionally involved with her against his own wisdom, maybe not. Uh, judgment, yes. You change partners, you change rules. What is this stuff we are downloading? The loot is right in there. Sean Connery is a joy to work with. He gets it, he knows exactly what's needed and how to achieve it with a maximum economy. Watching him step in front of the camera is a daily revelation. But when the camera turns, you realize why he's an icon. This mask thing better be worth it. Oh, it is. He's an actor's actor. Um, he's very classy. He's a gentleman. I'm saying it better be worth it for me. It's been very exciting to uh, work with an actor of his caliber. She's over her head. It's not going to happen. What about this other big, giant, huge job you all cute about in Scotland, hmm? Now, you wouldn't be trying to cut a brother out of anything, would There's you? There's nothing to cut you out. Cut him! Excellent. We found that with uh, Catherine, you learn each step just how gifted she is, as it were. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today, or is this just a general thing that's going on in my direction? It's just... What attracted me to the role was a wonderful sense of adventure. It was the multifaceted character in her that I loved more than anything. She's a, a great athlete, she's very smart, and the idea of that, as well as working with Sean, it was great. She's very down to earth and very easy to be around. Maybe I like being alone. Maybe I'm getting over someone. Well, they say nothing gets you over the last one like the next one. It's been a very much a team effort. It's in exotic locations. I mean, we go from England to Scotland, New York, Malaysia. I mean, you're all over the world. Isn't it beautiful here? I'm in the middle of Mull in the Scottish castle. I can't. Mac drills Jen through an extraordinary ritual because the room is, is crisscrossed by laser tripwires. There, this is where I'm going to enter the room, you see? And then I'm going to come up to the first beam. This is, this is the hardest part. This, and once I get into the first beam, I'm going to be fine. So just 
don't worry about me, okay? So what I have to do is learn a routine that I maneuver my body to, to, to get to the mask without touching a laser beam. And so Mac um, ties up um, lots of string and bells on. So if I touch anything, it goes brrrring. And it's back to the beginning. I'll watch the mask. You keep your mind on your movement. Oh, reach. It's an extraordinary series of movements in order to go under, over, and round those laser beams. You won't be able to see them, and, and I you will. You will, right. Trust me. As a team, they're unbeatable. They do succeed and fail. The gallery itself that they rob is in Bedford Palace, an enormous 17th century building. We're going into a place that is absolutely marble floored. To be able to go through under water, through a moat, and up through the bowels of the place, which we do. Take three. And spot a place where we come up through the floor. We have brought the equipment with us, just the two of us, enough to blast and come in the inside of the place. But that's only the very beginning of all the problems of security. The other things to be overcome, you really have to see the film. The big finale basically takes place in Malaysia in the tallest building in the world. Where we are here today in Kuala Lumpur, I was really surprised at how magnificent the Petronas Towers are, you know, the Twin Towers. Basically, she gets him to do a series of heists in which they gravitate to the absolute momentum of being here in Kuala Lumpur, where on the night of the millennium, the takeover of the new century, they have the biggest heist ever, ever, ever committed. Get out! out. We've done... Oh, over 85 days of shooting. We've done some incredibly difficult stuff. We've been to the Isle of Mull in hurricane force winds. We've been to Malaysia in the monsoons and 100 degree temperatures. To me, this is just uh, is a walk in the park. This is the shot, the director, doing what directors do worse, which is waiting. When you've got a guy dropping 200 feet straight down the face of a glass-fronted building, um, you, it's always going to be a difficult thing to, uh, to film. The wind will make a number of our camera positions quite difficult to hold, because in a high wind you'll find the camera starts shaking. It's close up with the director waiting. We've got a black figure jumping against a black building. The building itself has a sheer face, 70 floors. Yeah, we've been rigging in London for probably about two months. Uh, the thief's basically got to do a, an upward movement, going to a swallow dive, so it's quite, it's quite a difficult stunt. In his training as a stuntman, he's a high dive specialist and uh, he's tremendously athletic. He's a gymnast. He's rehearsed it many times. He's, he'll be tethered, he'll be on a full harness and tethered. Put the other line on, put the other line on and we'll do a few rehearsals. Every safety precaution you can take and has been taken. It's the biggest factor now is the wind. We just want the wind to drop. We're ready for another rehearsal. At the moment, we've got gusts of about 25 miles an hour. They've been forecast to conceivably go up to about 40. At 40 miles an hour, the wind is an extreme problem. At midnight, we're going to get clouds rolling in and the wind will then subside. I agree. I think we're losing just a little bit of the background on the run in. So let's start off. Uh, a little higher. A, a little higher on the arms. Okay. Okay, let's do one more rehearsal uh, at full speed. We've got a very complicated camera move because the camera has to chase him over the building at the very split second he jumped, so it's quite a coordination timing thing. It's exactly what I, what I wanted, which was that really surprisingly abrupt yeah. move. Just getting the choreography between you and the camera yeah. just perfect now. Okay, let's do it for the wind behind us. Roll camera, please. Rolling, stay still and quiet, please. Camera speed. And action camera. And it. 
It's my first experience working with Catherine, and she's an absolute dream. She's fantastic. She's game for anything, and she's so supple. I am one hell of a climber. I had to go up on a beam, 20, 30 foot or something, yeah. and I had to do like a back bend. It's in the movie, I do like a back bend on the beam, you know, so I take my bacon sandwich out of my mouth, get out there and do it. I never really think about those things until after. But I thought, I can't believe I did that. And John, our director, was going, you're the only actress who would do that. I said, no, I'm the only crazy person to do this. Let's not be too um, complimentary. It's very clever. No? Not clever. It was perfect. She's up for everything. She's as game as a bagel. She does all her own stuff yeah, yeah. when it's physically possible. Tremendous enthusiasm. When I'm up on the wires, I'm fine with heights, you know, and it doesn't bother me at all. That's your final mark there, is it? Yeah. yeah. Right now, each fragment, many of them just lasting a second or two of screen time, can take two to three hours to set up because they're physically very difficult. It involves getting the cameras and the lights and everything else up, wind machines. So it's immensely time consuming. That's good. Move it, move it. And then 10 minutes of explosive filming, <laughs> uh, and then another two hours of preparation. Cut it. I like doing all that stuff. It's fun, you know, but I'm also very honest with myself, and anything that I can't do, I don't do. But I tell you something, Sean is, he's up there too, huh? He has a huge amount of energy and physical ability. He's a very fit man. Move it! <laughs> ah! Ah! It is a journey of a film. It's in, in that it's a, it's a thriller. It's an adventure. A room with a view. I give you the world's tallest building at home of the International Clearance Bank. Do I have your attention now? I'm divided. It's got a wit. It's got uh, a very intriguing and kind of romantic element, and uh, it has quite a sting in the tail at the end. 35 seconds. Weren't we partners? You were playing both sides. There are a lot of twists and turns. I mean, nobody is who they seem to be. No, I just... Nice try. It has a combination of action, romance, intriguing characters. This is big enough, man. Hold on! It's never big enough. It's high tech, it's 20th century, it's millennium. It's a thriller. This is called entrapment. No, actually, it's called blackmail. Entrapment is what cops do to thieves. You coming? And then it has Sean Connery. 